Hello and welcome to another Maxi Shine video. Today we're going to be do, uh, doing some tests uh, with iFinity. It's a new um, add on to the drivers that you get with ATI. It allows for multiple screens. And I've done this before. Pretty sure some of you guys have seen it. That's three 30 inch monitors there. We're going to be running some insanely high resolution, but hopefully, some um, little things you have to do before you can get iFinity to run with three screens on a single card. I'll go through that. Okay, what we have here is a couple of different adapters. I know this is silly, but this is what ATI have done. You need a dual link DVI, dual link, that's for only 30 inches. Anything smaller than that, you'll just need an adapter. So, a dual link DVI to um, DisplayPort. Now, with uh, Apple, they do sell this, but they sell mini DisplayPort, which is easily available in any Apple store. But the ATI Radeon doesn't accept mini display port so I had to order this a mini display port to normal display port adapter and it's as simple as just plugging that in hopefully we're gonna see and then um, plugging in the um, monitor into that so your um, I'm just using a Mac screen at the moment because I do have this connected I'm not gonna go buy another Samsung until I test this make sure it works so your plug will go into that that will screw into there and so forth and that's your USB that's to power the dual link dual link DVI just needs extra power to run the resolution so there you go and that will plug into the um, Radeon graphics card so you've got two DVI out on the Radeon and a and a display port so hopefully this will run this is the three screens hooked up now. You can see that that's about um, at least two meters of uh, real estate, desktop real estate there. I could lie across these three screens. Pretty impressive stuff. We'll have a quick look at um, the iFinity software and I'll show you how to group it into one screen so you can play um, uh, surround gaming. Okay, this is the um, properties. Desktop and display. We're in the Catalyst 9.10 at the moment. All the screens are mixed up, so we have to figure out what's what. They're all different directions. So anyway, what you can do is, first of all, we're going to have to create a group. If I can remember how. Create group. See, here I'll just right-click the desktop, create group. Belong to extended group. Do you want to disable? Yes. Now here are your options. You can hover horizontal or landscape, which is what we want. You can see there, it's put the three together. It's as simple as pressing accept. Okay, now we have the three screens running as a single desktop of 7680 by 1600. I've created a custom wallpaper as well. It's pretty hard finding wallpaper at that resolution. So I've created my own little ATI thing here. I haven't become an ATI fanboy, but that's what I'm using at the moment. Alright, so pretty much the same as how we had it before. You can drag things across the screens as normally normally you would do. Running Windows 7, of course. Um, let's just go to the Catalyst Center. You can see now. PR. If we go to Monitor. Desktop Properties. Desktop and Displays. You can see here it shows up as one long landscape screen. So hopefully when you go into the games, they have that as an option. Um, we'll try out Left 4 Dead. See what happens. I'm not going to go through the game. I just want to make sure that the game runs at that resolution. So far, no problems. Skip through the introduction. Check that out. All the way across. Though the menu does look stretched, the actual um, options menu there is not stretched. So we'll just go to play single player, apartments, yes, yes. We're going to start a game. Yep. Look at that, awesome stuff. This is a single card running three, three 30 inch monitors, man. I remember when I first got my first 30 inch, I was worried how I was, how I was ever going to run it. Now we're up to three. Check this out guys, 7680 by 1600 left for dead. 
Oh come on man, that is absolutely awesome. Let's turn up. Let's go grab some stuff. Thanks for getting used to it. Subway tunnels to the hospital. There's a red line station not far from here. Sounds good. Check that out. Awesome stuff. If you haven't tried surround gaming, this is an absolute must. Let's just go to the options because uh, I know you guys are excited. This does look awesome. Does look awesome. Go back to the main menu. Um, let's go to options. Video. Woo! Check that out. Now check this out for a video resolution option. 7680 by 1600 unbelievable that's like over 12 million 12 million pixels across three screens and um, just as far as I can see so far the 5870 running this game pretty easy but crisis and that um, yeah that's another thing there is a full uh, review already on my website if you want to check it out uh, it's got some screenshots high risk screenshots of some of the games I've already tested all but two games have run. You can check that out. Um, you can even maximize the desktop and run it across your 22 or your 24 just to give you an idea of how much um, screen space there is. Uh, stay tuned for my next videos. I'm going to be doing um, gaming with this resolution across all the games that I've got installed including Crisis, Grand Theft Auto, um, Hawks, uh, Need for Speed Shift. As much as I can get my hands on, I'm going to test it at this res because it's unbelievable. Something you should get into. Uh, just a quick look, these are the 30s, just a quick look at my um, my old 22s, check that out, <laughs> look how small that looks, that's three uh, 22 inch screens, uh, running at 50, 40 by 10, 50, that look mini check compared to these, <laughs> thanks for watching guys.